Hey my loves and welcome to a <laughs> brand new video y'all. I got this hat on right here y'all because um, I'm actually about to get my hair done y'all. Yes, I took the braids down already. <laughs> y'all know I'm a weird girl for real. But the braids was really cute. Um, anyways, welcome back to the channel y'all. Um, so my sister is actually doing my hair today. So my appointment is I think at like 11 o'clock. So I'm going to meet her at the shop around like 11 o'clock. Um, I just put on one of my... Um, Skims dupe dresses. This dress is actually by Pumi. It's just like an all black dress, but it come all the way down and it's like a long sleeve. So I put this dress on today. I did do skincare, so skin is looking really nice. Um, also, y'all, I am wearing um, the perfume I'm wearing today is the Floral Marshmallow, which this is inspired by Kalani Love. Don't be shy, y'all. This is the perfect scent for the summer and the spring coming up, y'all. And this is actually by Dossier. If you guys are not familiar with Dossier, Dossier is a perfume company who sell high-end luxury dupe perfumes for a fraction of the price. And you get high-quality scents, y'all. I love them. Also, they come with these really cute magnetic tops right here. And also, they have a ton of luxury-inspired scents. They have YSL, Versace. They have Coco Chanel. They have everything. Literally, y'all, I love that Sierra. And also, too, y'all, their bottles come in a 50 milliliter. As you guys can see, the bottles are pretty big. And also, it tells you the name on there. Really, really nice. So, you guys know that I love Dossier. We always um, have Dossier perfumes. Also, guys, they sell um, candles now and room diffusers. We have a, we actually have a room diffuser in the bathroom. And I'm using the Kalani Love um, Don't Be Shot room diffuser y'all it smells so good highly recommend so if you guys want to have that luxury scent but not cost too much money but still want to feel luxury and have that vibe i highly recommend dossier i will have all their links down below also i will have the link down below to the scent that i'm actually wearing today y'all it smells so good um like i said very it's not even really fruity it's like it's still like a y'all when i say it smells so good it's like a um so the notes in here are marshmallow, bergamot, middle notes are orange blossom, honeysuckle, and jasmine, and then base notes are amber, vanilla, musk. Y'all, yeah, highly recommend. This is a very popular scent. If you guys want to experience luxury on a budget with some really good scents for the spring, summer coming up, I highly recommend that's here. But yeah, y'all, yeah, before I actually probably go to the shop, I think I'll stop at Starbucks and probably get some coffee, which I've been doing kind of good not drinking coffee, but... Your girl want to probably get a copy today because I feel like I've been drinking matcha all week. But y'all, how cute is this little hat right here though? Like, how cute, y'all? This is the hat that I end up getting. This is so perfect for like when you want to get your hair done. This is the hat that I end up getting from H and M, and it's like a teddy like material. So cute. But I am about to finish getting my stuff together, and then we're gonna head out. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, y'all. So this is the whole entire look. I just put on my trench um, jacket with my scarf. Also, yeah, I just got this really cute purse from Goodwill yesterday. <laughs> it's a Nan West purse. It's so cute. And this is the look. And I also um, went ahead and put on my Ugg slides as well. Just like chill. Because it's still kind of chilly, but it is warming up. They said we was having like an early spring. So, yeah, but this is the look for our hair day. And I think I'm going to get my nails done today. So, yeah, let's head out.
Okay, y'all, so we are now um, out of my sister's shop. Um, I did get my hair done. I got this really cute, like, high top um, ponytail. And y'all, I'm about to get my nails done, but the girl who I want to do my nails, she's actually busy. So I don't know if I want to take a risk and go to somebody else, but I should be fine. But I want to go get my nails done and then grab some lunch and stuff like that. So time right now is 2.31 and we are about to head out. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Today is Sunday, y'all, and I'm just doing like a little self-care. I'm actually in the bathroom right now, um, and I'm about to go ahead and do this Ordinary Mask. This is a Peeling Solution 10-Minute Exfoliating Facial Mask. This is how it looks right here. I got this from Ulta Beauty, um, and I like using this like weekly because it's like a peel or whatever, and it just, it pretty much like, it pretty much like brighten your skin and stuff like that. Um, I love the Ordinary brand. But it is like a kind of like red color, so you gotta be real careful um, with this. Um, but as you can see, it's like a red color. <laughs> and I just take it and I just, it, you know, and it kind of, it kind of smell like, um, kind of smell like cranberry a little bit, but. I just take it and I just put it on my face I don't necessarily try to put it that close to my eyes um, but yeah so as you guys can see this is how it look now it does have like a tingling 
type of feeling right now um, but I think it feels like that when it's actually working so I'm going to actually keep this on for about 10 minutes um, I be forgetting to actually put this on my face sometimes as you can see it's like a real type of um, color so I'm gonna leave this on my face for like 10 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it off and then I'm going to finish my skincare. Yeah, why did I get full blown distracted and I forgot to finish my skincare? <laughs> oh my god. So I done finished my skincare already, y'all. And um I done finished my skincare. I done hit my edges a little bit, y'all. But let me show y'all what I used. So you guys know earlier before I had um left off camera, we had did the ordinary peeling solution. Um so this is what I used um to do like an exfoliating but before i actually use this y'all i um use my clinique all about clean cleansing plus exfoliating jelly so i actually washed my face with this first and then after i had washed my face with that i ended up using the ordinary um peeling solution and then after i use that and i rinse because i always pat dry and then i always use if you guys don't know um paper towels are good to use for your skin because it doesn't hold bacteria so i use a new paper towel every time i um, dry my skin and i don't use um cloth and stuff now i used to use cloth when i was like younger or whatever in my teens and stuff but i learned real quickly that um those type of things kind of hold bacteria even if you wash them it's still good to like use like a face like tissue cloth or like just like a paper towel so i did that and then after i had rinsed and stuff with the peeling solution and then y'all after all that i end up using this 100 percent plant divide um squalini pure um surface hydration this is how it looks this is actually by the ordinary brand as well so i did use this and i basically use it as my oil it's like a little oil that i put on my face and then i use my rapid wrinkle eye cream i actually put this on first before i actually put on my oil so i'll go ahead and put this on my eye first and then i actually put my oil on and then after my oil i use the clinique dramatically different um, moisturizing lotion so that's basically my whole like skincare um lately um i always use the clinic products but also too y'all let me show y'all something else i've been using um i've also started using this um laneige cleaner as well it's this laneige deep cleansing cleaner that i got from um i think i got this from where i get this from I think Marshalls, but this is a really good brand as well. And they also sell like skincare and stuff. So this is really good. So I'll go back and forth with using that and using my um, Clinique um, exfoliating um, jelly cleanser as well. So yeah, that is the skincare. And then my skin turned out like this. Hydrated, nice and smooth. So I'm probably about to head to the kitchen, probably make some coffee. Right now, I'm actually drinking some lime water. I heard lime water was re like really good for you, so um, I want to try to like I, I want to try to like start putting like lemons and limes in like my ice water in the morning because I feel like it kind of get my day started. So I just put my lemon and my lime in here. Well, just a lime in here. It's very limey though, with some ice. So yeah, let's head out.
Okay, y'all, we got a couple of gifts I wanted to open up here for my Amazon gift list. So, let's see. Do we have a piece of... This didn't come with a... I thought this came with a... What's the name? Oh, my goodness. I don't even... Who got me this? I could have sworn this came with them. Y'all, let me, let me, let me just, let me see, because. I can't even get back to that list to see who got me these um, lead candles. Let me see, y'all, hold on. Cause I thought it was, um, I thought it was the, I thought it was in there, but I don't see it. Can I find this list? Is this still available? Let me see. Okay. Toya Thomas. So these are for Miss Toya. So thank you, Miss Toya. These are actually the Jen Swin Gray Glass battery operated flameless lead candle with a 10 key remote and timer so this is how they look right here it says christmas on them i'm not sure why it says christmas but <laughs> let's see um i actually want to probably style these maybe in the living room um like i said in my last video y'all the decor that you guys have seen um some is new some i have been having but we really haven't bought any like new decor for like the spring season and then also um the black canvases that we have in here from um from hobby lobby i like eventually i want to switch those out again um i feel like the black canvases was just more so because i just wanted to put something black up there and i wasn't ready to actually do like any type of specific colors in my house i just wanted to keep it all like neutral so let's go ahead and open these up okay so okay y'all so these are the lid candles now they say that they gray but I feel like they look kind of black Ooh, they like a glassy glassy type but this is how they look i feel like they look black when i first got them but i guess they're like a gray color and it has like the fake flame in there now it did come in a set of three so okay yeah i feel like these can like be like black for real So, somebody blowing me up, right there. So they are battery operated, um, and when you touch these, you will get something on your hand. I mean, <laughs> you will leave fingerprints because it's like a very like glassy type. It's actually glass, 
but it is a set of three so this is how they look super cute and it is a set of three i think these are real cute i think these would be real cute in the living room um on the coffee table but i guess they are kind of gray but i feel like they like a grayish like black let me show a picture real quick let me see um but like do y'all see how they look black like say those don't look black so that's why i got them because they kind of give black and maybe that's because maybe that's because of maybe when a flame is on also y'all it come with i almost forgot it come with the remote it comes with this remote right here where you can like switch it up to like different like you know remotes and stuff like that um super cute i guess it's probably coming like a little battery too but like i've never had um i've never had any like um um flame flame candles where like it actually got like a remote so i think that's super cute so thank you miss tanya for the flame candles super cute we're gonna actually probably style those today if not today probably tomorrow and i may style them in like the living room or something now let's open up our next gift next we have the keurig mini super cute i think i got this in gray which again i should have got this in black i don't know what i was thinking but y'all i'm not gonna lie i think when i um i think when i got it i was just thinking of like this gray thing because like i was gonna do like gray i think i was gonna do like gray or black backsplash and i have got that in like the gray so this is from candace shivers it says it says congratulations sis we hope your new home provides you um years of enjoyment and peaceful retreat from the rest of the busy world <laughs> thank you for that much love from i am candace thank you miss candace for the um carry i really appreciate it like i said this is in a gray color um and i may set this up probably tomorrow or something like that but thank you miss lady it says congratulations on your new home from thea moore and this is actually a half gallon glass soap dispenser bottles. Um, I believe I got these for my, um, I'm almost for certain I got these for, for, um, for the laundry room. And yeah, I cannot get these open with my nails and I just got my nails done. So I am not about to mess my nails up. Let me see if I can find something that actually I be real sensitive when it comes to me getting my nails done because nails cost so much money, y'all. I ain't about to mess my nails up trying to open up a box. I promise you, I ain't. It's, it's annoying, but I don't. I be so delicate with it, like it don't even be funny. Like I be super like. But honestly, what I need is a box cutter. If I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, y'all. So okay, needed these. So we have these um, half gallon um, little dispensers. Now these are like soap dispensers. I did get these for the laundry room. Um, so I'm excited. So this is it. And I want to say, um, let me see. Okay, so it goes like this. Um, and then you put it on like this. Oh, that's cute. And I think I ordered some labels too on my list. But yeah, this is how it looks. A little soap dispenser. And it got like this cute little um, handle right here. Like I said, y'all, I had got these for um, I got these for my laundry area. So I'm excited for that. And then I have another one right here. I guess I could take these out of the box because I got my um I got my soap in like these one containers, but yeah, so um, yeah, so super cute. And this is the second one. Like I said, I got two of them because I was like either, well, I don't believe it or not. Y'all, I don't use fabric softener. I don't know if I'm the only one y'all, but I do not use fabric softener. I use straight just like 
liquid soaps so like both of these will probably have my soaps in them but this is how they look again everything is from amazon y'all as you guys can see probably but um everything is from amazon so i will link everything that i have and also these are glass they're not plastic they're glass which is very very nice um and it has the pump which let me see okay we'll figure out how to take that okay we'll figure out how to bring that up um later but yeah super cute like i said they are glass and they look really really nice Real cute. And I love the little handles on here as well. And yeah, really cute. So we got some little twins right here. Like I said, that's, oh Lord. <laughs> like I said, it looks so pretty in that sun. Um, thank God it's so beautiful day today. But like I said, that's gonna be for some soap. So we're gonna do that as well. Maybe in this video, I'm not sure. Okay, so the next gift says, enjoy your gift from Mary Dawkins. Thank you, Miss Mary, for the gifts. So this is a 144 piece minimal laundry label set. Um, and then what else was it? I think she also got me this as well. This is, I forgot I put the sticker in here. I mean the note. This is from, I think it's from the same lady. Let me see. So that's Miss Mary. Yeah, so both of these are from Miss Mary. And then the second thing is the two pack fridge container. I think I've showed you guys these already. Um, and just so happy, um, it was it was two on my list. And I don't know how I got two on my list, but it was two on my list or whatever. Um, and, um, yeah, so she ordered me these, so thank you, Miss Lady. Um, you guys have seen these already. Um, these are just the freezer pack, well, freezer refrigerator pack, and it comes with a set of two. And I'll just open them real quickly. And this is how they look right here. Another lady also gifted me these, and then also they have, um, a smaller one in the inside as well. So... Just that and I can use these um, for my other fruits and vegetables and stuff like that so that's exciting so yeah so that's that so thank you Miss Mary for that now this envelope right here, y'all, is supposed to be like the 144 type sticker for the laundry. I'm so excited, y'all, because y'all know I love to organize. Oh, ooh. oh, this is exciting. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these are the stickers, which look so, so nice. Y'all, I'm so excited for this. Oh, we, oh, we. Okay, so y'all know I love stuff like this, right? One thing I love to do is label something. Like, please, give me a label with a clear bottle and it completes my life, literally. So these are labels for the laundry room, but I think also it's some labels in here for other stuff as well, y'all. So let me show y'all real quick. So these are the labels. So these are the labels for like utility stuff in the house, just like random stuff in the house. Also, laundry, as you guys can see, different names on there. So, I see laundry soap, light bulbs, dish soap, leather cleaner, linen, laundry detergent. Okay. So, that's that. So, again, it's a lot of sheets. Oh, yeah. This is, like, this is a total, this is a total house cleaning type of everything. They got napkins, masks, multi-cleansers, microfiber cloths, towel cleaner, towel remover, soaps this and that starch stain remover soaps it says pillows pet care y'all they got everything on here girl they got everything wait this is 144 because this is a lot brushes candles wait a minute hold on okay so yeah we need some of these for our you know what hold on let me see something real quick 
Do they have hair stuff in here? But hold on. Emergency kits, electronics, duvet covers, dryer sheets. Y'all, they got a lot of stuff in here. Dirty clothes, comforters, color boosters. I need me a laundry closet. I want to make me a laundry closet now. Yeah, I mean, they got all this stuff in here. And I'm like, I ain't got all this stuff in my house. Wait a minute. Is that a new project? I want to make me a little laundry room now. But the thing is, it's like, I got like my little laundry area. Then it got like the little shelves on top. But all this stuff, I guess I could just put the bottles in there. But let's just, hold on. All purpose, bath towels, beach towels, accessories. Let me see. Dryer sheets. Okay, so they got home essentials and cleaning essentials. Laundry essentials. This is perfect. They got pillows, pet control. They got vitamins. Oh, they got all type of stuff. Tools, toilet paper. They got it all, y'all. I love this. Oh, and then you can make your own labels? <laughs> Girl, okay, I highly recommend this, y'all. I will link this, y'all, because this is perfect. They have... You can make your own labels. Okay, so they gave you one sheet to make your own labels, as you guys can see. And you can make your own labels. Like, how cool is that? So it says bathroom essentials. Okay, yep. So remember, um, remember I had got like the little bathroom thing from Target, and I was like, I'm gonna put all my bathroom stuff in here. Like, um Okay, so we got two bathroom essentials. But anyways, y'all, I got this little, like, um, gray little, not gray, this black roller thing that, like, pulls out, like, with, like, three drawers. And I got, like, my hair utensils, like, my soap and stuff like that, body soap, lotion stuff. So, I'm going to use these right here to actually label those myself. That would be super, super cute. And then this one says kitchen cleaning. Home decor. Girl, they got home decor on here. <laughs> they got home decor, y'all. Look, home decor. Wait. All right now, this is cute. This is real cute. Okay, yeah, that was that was necessary. I'm excited. Let me just put something on here to see. Like, I kind of want to do like a little like demonstration. So this got hangers, y'all. But I, I but I just want to show y'all like how it would actually look on the bottle. This is cute. I don't want to press it all the way down, but look. This is how it will look on the bottle without trying to press it all the way down. Like, tell me that is not the most aesthetic, good-looking bottle that you've ever seen for soap. It says hangers, but that's because I, I know I'm not going to use them for hangers. But, y'all, how cute is this? Oh, and this is perfect. It's like the perfect size. Look at this. Oh, thank you, Miss Lady. These are perfect, y'all. I love these. With the black and white, very minimal, but still clean. I love that. Okay, cool. So, okay, so that's that. I'm going to get all this stuff up, y'all, because I done created a mess. If y'all seen what was down here, y'all be like, girl, I done created a whole entire mess. Also, they give you a list as well of everything. So, they give you a list of everything that actually comes with them as far as labels, okay? So, that's everything we end up getting from our unboxing of our amazon gifts today because we still have a few we still got stuff for like my bedroom still ain't made over that yet still got a ton of ideas for that um but i'm gonna clean all this up and i'll see you guys in a minute okay y'all so we are now in my dining room and i wanted to put a couple pieces on my dining room table because when i was um when i was putting pieces inside the house um the vase that i had on the table um i took it off so i do want to put um my little black matte face on there and i actually took that off of the um i don't know why i thought it was back here but i put it i, I took it off the shelves back here um but i actually want to put it on my table but i'm gonna show you guys a couple items that i do want to kind of put on the table or whatever so i have this black matte like tray um i, I mean i guess you would call it like like a little um coffee table tray this did come from Ross. I just, for some reason, I like this. I like the way that it looks. I think it's really, really cute. And also, like, this kind of, like, mesh-like material. I thought this was very unique. 
I've never actually seen anything like this. So when I seen this, and I want to say I seen this, um, I seen this last year when I was actually at Ross and I was looking for stuff for the fall. Um, but like, do you see how like really like just how super cute it is? How you can like kind of see through there? That's cute. Like you can see through there. Like with like the little, well, not vents, but I, I, mean, I guess you could. But just like the little like mesh chrome. But yeah, this is in like a matte black color. So I wanted to use this tray. And then y'all, I also wanted to um, use these links right here. Now, I believe you guys have seen these links already. These were actually on my, um, these were actually on my um, stand as well. But I took them off there because I want to put them probably inside the tray and just see like how it looked but i thought these was really cute and also i just love the neutral color on here as well i just think it matches the space perfectly now remember i was telling you about the vase now i have had this vase for quite some time i'm not sure exactly where it originally came from but i know when i had bought it i think i had got it from the goodwill but it's just like my black vase that i've had forever we have literally, <laughs> we have used this vase for so many spaces. I've actually had this vase since my old apartment. Um, is that a scratch? Yeah, it is. But um, I've had this vase for a very, very long time. And if you guys don't know, um, I am the type of girl who um, I will keep an item for a very long time. Especially if I feel like it's an item that is timeless and it's not going to go out of style. And it's simple and it's clean because I feel like that's kind of like my style. Um, and like even when I was doing like um, glam decor, I still felt like my style was very like clean and like simple but still like put together. So yeah, that's what I like about this vase right here is that it's like just like a nice oval um, size vase. And it's in like a matte color like I said before and obviously I'm black. So I do want to take my stems and actually put it inside of here. I think that'll be really cute. Now the stems that I have, I've actually had for a while. Um, we actually have not been to Hobby Lobby, so we probably can go to Hobby Lobby in the next video. Um, just to see like what type of new stems they actually have out for the spring 24. But, so the stems that I have here, I've actually had these for a while as well. Now I'm glad that I got these stems when I did. Now when I got these, they were not in particularly my style at the time. But when I got them, I knew that they were like very elegant and very, very nice. So that's why I got them. But it is like these plastic, um, like florals and it has like this brown stem, but then it also has like these green, like little, um, petals on it. Very, very nice. And then also it has like this cream color as you guys can see, you see, it's like a cream color, like petal, like really cute. And then the bottom is like a natural like looking green and brown stem. Super cute. So I do have about 40s and I just think these type of stems will never go out of style. And especially for the spring season, I think they're perfect. And especially for like my style now, I think they're perfect for my style. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm going to use these, um, pieces to actually, um, decorate this table. Um, and then we're going to go in the living room after that. But yeah, so that's how they look super cute. So let's go ahead and put these pieces together and just see how they look as well. Like I said, I'll show you guys my table and I'll show you guys my chair and stuff like that. So let's get started okay, so this is actually the table like i said it is like a wood grain table um very nice um now these are the chairs i was telling you about which i love these are my chairs right here um these chairs did come from this company called i want to say daya daya lane um, and they did sponsor these chairs. So shout out to them because they're so gorgeous. Now, like y'all see what I was talking about when I said the wood on these and these are literally, literally like 
a perfect match like do y'all see that like it looks so good um i love these they're very very comfortable um and they have like a thick like kind of padding right there as well um and i basically have all the same chairs on um each corner or like side of the um table like i said before this is the table and if you look at the legs you can tell where the legs are kind of the same as well like you can tell everything is just very cohesive and everything pretty much matches so this is how the table look just want to show you guys that real quick okay y'all so first i'm gonna take this tray that i was telling you about which i just found to be so cute so i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna just place it in the middle like i say i just i like the look of it i think it's very different um and it's just like a regular little black mat tray but i like the little vent little things i don't know i don't, I don't know what they call vents i don't know like the little gate on there but that's what i love about this piece right here y'all but yeah i'm gonna put this right here in the middle and then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take this vase right here which i know is black on black but that's that's okay so we're gonna put that vase about right there okay so we're gonna put that right there and after i put that there i'm gonna go ahead and take the florals that i was telling you guys about okay so i'm gonna take these and i'm gonna sit these in here now i could um i could like bring them down a little bit or whatever but it's fine it's fine i kind of like the dramatic look <laughs> if i'm being honest like because the vase is like so short so i kind of don't mind the stems kind of coming out sprouting out like a little taller i just think the dramatic look look kind of cute <laughs> comment let me know what y'all think though okay so and then after that i'm going to take our links that i was telling you guys about and then i'm going to take these and place them in here now i was debating if i wanted to like actually like have them kind of hanging out of here or just put them all in here i'm not sure yet let me see because i low-key feel like like i really feel like i could put a candle in there but i feel like if i put a candle in there and i try to burn it <laughs> It's gonna burn these. <laughs> I just know it is. So I, I ain't gonna do it. Um, but that'd be really cute though. Cause I have a candle. Mm, I ain't gonna do it. But that'd be really cute. Um, I would have to, because the tray is actually not that big, but it's big enough. Um, I feel like I wanna put one more piece in here. But I don't know what I want to put in here, but I feel like I wanna put like a something let me think because i don't have a lot of like i don't have a lot of um i don't have a lot of like smaller decor pieces like you know how like some of them little decor pieces where you can kind of just add like little trinkets here and there i don't be having stuff like that for some reason um i'm gonna have to start getting a little stuff like that like nah i don't feel like coasters would nah it's not necessary Less is more, and I'm going to keep it like that, okay? So, this is fine. Comment and let me know what you guys think. Because I'm, I'm, cause I'm over here adding stuff that probably ain't even necessary, girl. <laughs> I'm just extra. <laughs> but, <clears throat> keeping it simple and elegant, as always. Sometimes I go out my comfort zone here and there, but, you know, not too much, but... And then when we back up here, this is actually how it looks right now. Um, and I just love how simple it is, yet, um, you know, springy and just really nice and clean. So, yeah, kind of let me know what y'all think. And then I'll give you guys a close up here. Okay, y'all. So this is actually how it turned out. Super, super nice. I love the black. <laughs> I just think the black looks so good. Like I said, I know it's black on black, but I kind of like the vibe. 
And then also I love um, that the chain kind of just like um, adds that color that it needs because it is so many dark tones over in the area, if that make any sense. So yeah, this is how it looks. Super nice. Love the chain and I just love how it turned out. I want you guys to comment and let me know what did you guys think about the stems. And did you guys think the stems go perfect with um, the dining room table? Because I think the stems really, I don't know, I just think the stems really um, just kind of add that like spring kind of vibe. Like I said, the stems are like a very pretty, like creamy, like flower petals. And then it has the greenery right here, which I love. So yeah, comment, let me know how you guys think it turned out. And then when I come back here, so this is actually how it looks with like a full view of the dining room. I think it looks cute. Okay, y'all, so we are now in the living room and I want to show you guys this green throw. I'm not sure, um, well, I think I showed you guys last year, but yeah, I still have this green throw and I was debating, right? So I was like, should I put green on here or black? Um, I don't want to do too much black. I do feel like it is a lot of black accents in here, like far as bigger pieces, like we got the TV, the TV stand and we got the pillows that's black and then the coffee table is clear and black and then the lamp as well. But yeah, why wow, I love it here so much. It's so cute in here. It's just very warm and cozy. Like I love it here. But anyways, um, so I want to put my green throw back on here. Um, I had it in a closet for a while, but um, during like the... Um, during the like fall season and like winter season and stuff but yeah i have this really cute throw that i got from the goodwill last year and i don't know if you guys remember when i thrifted this but do you guys remember like this like olive color um throw is it is this olive yeah i would say olive i think but it's like a very like kind of like light color green like olive color and as you guys can see, it's just like a very real knitted. Somebody definitely hand hand knitted this. You can tell somebody hand knitted this, y'all. Um, because look at it. It's very nice quality. You can tell it's kind of seasoned. Like it hasn't been around for a while. And then I love that it has like these tassels on it as well. So it has like these tassels on it right here, which I think is really nice. But y'all, what I was going to do was I was going to bring this back out for the spring. Cause I just think it's so cute. Like I just think it's so cute. And this is like how it looks. And I was going to probably put this back on my couch. Cause I just think this is a nice color. Um, just in general to kind of just bring out for the spring season because green is spring, right? <laughs> so I just think this is a really nice um, throw to put on my couch. So I want to put this on a couch um, and you know, bring it back out and see how it looks. So yeah. But it's how the bottom look. But like, isn't it so cute? Like, I cannot. So cute. So I'm about to put this up. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here. But I think I'm gonna move this pillow and just put the throw, like, and kind of drag it on the floor a little bit as well, because I just think it's so dramatic. <laughs> um, but just kind of put the throw right here. Um, and then, like I said, just kind of drag it on the floor just a little bit. Um, and then kind of just put that black pillow back on top. So if you guys don't know, that's a good way to kind of have your throw um, kind of blend in with your um, pillow. Is kind of put the throw under the pillow instead of putting the throw like outside the pillow, if that makes any sense. So I always take my throw and I actually sit my pillow on top of it. So it can just all just um, flow together. So... That's actually how it looks right now. I feel like it just looks more put together when it's actually 
coming from up under the um pillow i want you guys to comment let me know what you think but i think it's real cute though so yeah we're gonna put that right there and i feel like that kind of just completes the living room so yeah and then this view right here is how it looks when i bring the camera back a little bit so yeah comment let me know what you guys think but i just think it's that nice little added um touch to the couch that i feel like the couch kind of needed <laughs> to kind of like you know feel more cozy and just be more cozy because i know that my house can be very um not really plain but just very just like kind of straight to the point and just very i feel like lately it's been kind of modern it's, it's kind of been like monochromatic a little bit um and that's because of my style now um you guys know that i was not doing this type of like style before but i think now that i'm doing this style um that's why i kind of just look more like a how can i put it <laughs> it kind of looked more like a um like a staged home like nobody lives here <laughs> so um yeah um but yeah i love i love my space and i adore it a lot um i take a lot of pride in creating the space that i'm gonna live in um and as far as do the same so comment let me know what you guys think of the olive i would say it's olive I think that's my final answer. It's olive. But you guys comment let me know what color would you say it is? You know what? Sage. Wait, okay, this might be a sage green. Okay. <laughs> this might be a sage green, girl. Oh my goodness. Anyways, comment let me know. Okay, love, so that's actually going to conclude this whole entire video, y'all. I want you guys to comment and let me know what do you guys think about how everything is looking so far in the house. Also, do you think adding that green throw back on the sofa? Was a good idea going into the spring 2024 also what do you guys think about the stems that we end up putting inside the dining room i think they are really cute um but i am very excited about um actually going to hobby lobby and actually seeing what they have because like for me when i have a decor piece again like i said earlier i will have it for years <laughs> and i will use that same decor piece like um years and years in like my decor um i think that's one way to actually save money um so i would suggest if you guys are like doing home decor or like if you guys actually want to get into it like always go for um timeless pieces that way you can always um like kind of use them in like your future homes or like you know different decor styles so i think for me um getting those neutral pieces and just getting pieces that just goes with pretty much any style was a win and i think that's why i will always have black in my decor because i feel like that's one color i can do with modern or like glam or just like mid-century just like whatever so that's cool so yeah just a little tip or whatever because home decor is expensive um but i am blessed to be able to you know you know afford it and just like you know have companies you know sponsor me stuff like that with like furniture and stuff like that so i am grateful for that um but yeah um so basically this kind of like so the, okay how the living room is looking so far right so it's kind of like i would kind of call it like a pre-spring and the reason why i said it y'all is because i feel like i have not really like switched it up too much from um last year but like i said before last year when we um we're actually trying to get into kind of creating a space like this i kind of had to hurry up and get into like um christmas and fall so it was like we it, so it was like we did it but like it didn't really sit with me for a long time so i'm very excited just to kind of have this decor just kind of like sit in the um liberal space for you know the new season or whatever so that's very exciting um so yeah i want you guys to comment and let me know um, what do you guys think about how everything turned out? And then also um, the dining room as well with the pieces that we put um, on our um, table. I love it. So I do have a huge announcement, y'all. <laughs> um, over, let's see, a course of, and I've been working on this for a while. Um, I just have not announced it, but it's always been in the back of my mind. But um, I officially um, start accepting clients for um, home decor and interior design and decorating. So <laughs> it's so crazy, y'all, because I actually had a few ladies already reach out to me. So 
I'm just grateful for you guys. Um, and you guys are very encouraging as well. So I just thank you all for um, the love and support with um, my new decorating business. And, you know, um, decorating people's houses and creating a space that they want to live in. So that's very exciting because I know that I have been decorating on YouTube for um, quite some time now. Um, and I do want to continue to evolve um, with time on this platform as well. So I'm very excited. Um, and thank you to the ladies who have already um, kind of like reached out because I feel like that happening just made me feel like okay this is <laughs> this is probably my calling i just have not kind of put the pen to the paper and just kind of like you know promoted it or whatever so i am promoting that now and it's official um your girl is now um taking clients for decorating their houses etc super excited because i know a lot of people would love for me to probably decorate their house they probably just have not ever seen me like promote it in that way they probably just always see me like decorate my house so very excited for this super excited for that um so yeah and then obviously i would love to like kind of decorate and just like you know film that journey if i could i think that'd be really nice as well you know so obviously with the clients um respect and um of their privacy etc i would get permission if i was to ever film that or whatever but i think that'd be a very very fun video just i feel like that series in general would be such a good series on here and i think you guys would really enjoy that so if i can film those type of videos that'd be great like i said this is just the start of it um not sure how it's gonna go am i nervous yes but what i will say um is that i'm grateful that people have already seen my skills and they have already seen me create a space so i feel like my work kind of speaks for itself so that's great and you guys kind of see like the type of person that i am and how i just conduct myself and just business in general so that's good as well also i just ordered some flyers that i want to kind of pass out in my local city so that's very exciting so i kind of want to go to like those different stores like home goods and like kind of put it in like the windows so i kind of want to go to like big stores and kind of promote it there and see how that goes um and yeah i want you guys to give me any tips on you know this new journey um are you guys an interior decorator and have you guys ever did it before and is this something that you guys would like to do in your life i know i've always wanted to do it um i've just <laughs> i just be having my hands in like so many pots i literally cannot i'll be having my hands in so many pots but i do think the interior design um is definitely my lane and i think it's definitely my passion so i'm very excited to announce that so if you guys are interested in me creating the space that you want to live in in your home you guys can email me at miss shepherd at live.com that's ms dot shepherd s-h-e-p-h-e-r-d the at sign l-i-v-e dot com or you guys can contact me on my telephone number which is also on my flyer as well if you guys are interested also guys i am willing to travel as well like i said i am based in ohio so if you guys are not too far i will travel to where you guys are um and stuff like that so that's very exciting so yeah um just super excited for the journey y'all for real so yeah loves that is actually going to conclude this video i hope you guys all enjoyed today's video i want you guys to comment which part was your favorite and i will see you guys in my next one bye loves mm -hmm.